This is the one zoom Tree of Life Explorer. Here we can zoom in on the Tree of Life and view all the species of life on Earth in amazing detail. I'm just going to show you some of the more interesting features here to get you started, but the best way to learn is to go to the website yourself and explore it in your own time. So the address is onezoom.org and we can get started by clicking on this branch here or we can click on the link Tree of Life. Now when it comes up first, it's zoomed in on one branch of the tree. So you can use your mouse to zoom back out again. So it's nice to see the, the tree all together on one screen at the start. So just to set some context here, Earth is 4.5 billion years old. For the first billion years of its existence, approximately, there was no life on Earth at all. It was just a dead planet. Then 3.5 billion years ago, approximately, life started as single celled microscopic organisms. And that's where this stem starts. All life stemmed from a primitive single celled organism here about 3.5 billion years ago. And you can see that after this, it branched into two. So let's look at the branch on the left first. So if we zoom in here, we can see this is, this is where bacteria first appears. So bacteria are, of course, single celled organisms. And we can see from this that bacteria have been with us since the very start of life on Earth. Now, if we zoom back out again, if we go along the second branch, we see that also along this branch, life continued as primitive single celled organisms until they got to this point here, two billion years later. And uh, we arrive at the eukaryotes. So 1.5 billion years ago, there was an amazing transformation. Cells found a way of combining together into more complex life forms. So these are the eukaryotes, like I said. And once they started, there was no stopping them. Over millions of years, life got more and more complex until it evolved into all of the amazing variety of plants and animals that we see around us today. So this is an interesting place to start always, if we zoom in here. Now, the first thing to explain is the numbering system, 1500 MA. That stands for 1500 million years ago, or 1.5 billion years ago. So that's when the eukaryotes first appeared. And as you can see, they have branched into two. So there's a branch down here to the plants. And there's another branch over here that eventually leads to the animals on the extreme end over here. So let's have a look at the plants first. So bear in mind that at this stage, all life uh, was ocean based. So we see the first primitive plants are appearing here. For example, brown algae. Now, if, if we move along that branch, we see green plants appearing and further up we see land plants so this is another big milestone because this is the point at which uh, plants are making the transition from being um, ocean-based to land-based and that means that they, that they are getting more evolved and if you zoom in here you start to see things like mosses ferns seed plants and eventually flowering plants which are of course the most evolved of the plants so the flowering plants are in along here. OK, so back out again. Now, as I said, along the second branch, the animals eventually evolved. So let's fast forward along here. And we come to this point up here. So this is where the animals first appeared 650 million years ago. And the first animals, the most primitive animals, were the things like the sponges that appeared in the oceans that time, 600 million years ago. And if we go further along here, we come to things like jellyfish and corals. And further along again. Now there's an interesting junction here. Uh, so if you go down along this branch here, 560 million years ago, this branch appeared. And this is the branch where humans eventually evolved along here. But before we go to those, let's have a look at the other branch. And up along here, we come to a, a family where the octopus first appeared. So that's a very interesting branch to have a look at as well. The octopus uh, lives in the ocean, but is a very intelligent creature, very highly evolved. So very well worth looking at for that reason. And if you go further along to the end of this branch, you come to the insects and crustaceans along here. So if we zoom in here, we can see those.
So back to this branch here. The next significant milestone, I suppose, are the vertebrates. So these are the animals with backbones, and this is again highly significant because animals with backbones are generally speaking more highly evolved and more complex life forms. So we now start to see sharks appearing in the oceans, for example. So that's about 300 million years ago or 200 million years ago. Uh, we see rays and sawfish stingrays along here. And if we keep moving, we come to another interesting animal here. So we come to the lungfish. And the lungfish is unusual for a fish as he can breathe air. So he is very close to the evolutionary crossroads where life made the transition from living in oceans to living on land. So scientists are very interested in him for that reason. Now, if you go further along. So we come to some more familiar animals, the salamanders, uh, frogs. And what else have we got here? Now, two more interesting branches down here. Uh, this one is the branch where the reptiles first evolved. So you've got the crocodiles, the alligators, and you've got turtles. You've got eventually evolving into the present day birds that we're familiar with up along here at the end of that branch. So that's the reptiles. And next door we have ourselves, the mammals. So 180 million years ago, we have the mammals first appearing. And one of the first of those is the platypus and he's a very interesting character uh, because in, in the platypus family the female produces milk for the young uh, which is a typical mammal trait however she also lays eggs which is more associated with reptiles next door here uh, so for that reason again the, the platypus is at an evolutionary crossroads and that's why scientists are very interested in studying the, plat the platypus uh, he's found in australia and tasmania so again well worth exploring in your own time uh, the platypus. Now we can keep moving along here. So plenty more interesting creatures. The elephant is there, for example. If you go along this branch, you'll come to some more familiar animals. Uh, you'll come to cows, horses, camels, shrews, and uh, so plenty more to look at in there. Now there's one very interesting branch down here in particular. So if you come down here to 43.8 million years ago and you come to this junction and then go in along here, you see the hippo hippopotamus evolves along here and that's 10.5 million years ago. But if you go back to his ancestor for a minute, there was another branch off of that. And a few hundred thousand years later, we have whales and dolphins appearing along this branch, which is often unexpected. But what's, and what's actually after happening here is the reverse of what normally happens. Normally in evolution, uh, life gets more complex as it moves from ocean-based to land-based, for example, whereas now the opposite is happening. We've, the ancestor of the hippopotamus evolved and eventually moved from land back into the back into the ocean again. And that's when it evolved gradually over, as I said, hundreds of thousands of years into modern-day whales and dolphins. So the whales and dolphins are highly intelligent creatures, and uh, one of the reasons for that is obviously they're on in the mammal family okay so if we come back here again now the next line of interest to us if you can find them here so we keep on back out our So under the mammals, we have to go back into the primates here. Now, if you go along this line here, we see the primates first appearing 65 million years ago. And uh, of course, that's the family that humans belong to. So if we go along here, in, in, in particular, we belong to the old world monkeys and apes branch of, of the tree here. So that's... That's the branch that first appeared 25 million years ago. And moving along here, we see the apes first appeared 18 million years ago. And the great apes, the orangutan, appeared 40 million years ago. And moving further along again, we have the African apes 
evolving 8 million years ago. So that's the Eastern Gorilla and the Western Gorilla in Africa. And finally, we come to ourselves, humans. So humans appeared for the first time 6 million years ago. So that's our species, Homo sapiens, uh, appearing for the first time approximately 6 million years ago. If we move further along, we see our closest relatives along this line here. We see the chimpanzee and the bonobo. So they evolved off that uh, main branch 1.6 million years ago. And it turns out that they share 98 plus percent of DNA with humans. So they are our most closest, our closest relative. And that's basically it. That's the tree of life. If you want to explore it further, you can explore up here. You can search for a keyword like mammals or humans or whatever, or you can put in the name of the species that you're interested in if you know the name yourself. And that's the end of this lesson.